हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी In this lecture let us understand basic elements of satellite communication system and types of satellites first let us understand the basic elements of satellite communication system the basic element of satellite communication system is shown in this figure it consists of user satellite terrestrial network system earth station now let us understand these elements one by one first let us see what is user the user generates the baseband signal that propagates through the terrestrial system and it is transmitted to the satellite through earth station the frequency with which the signal is sent to the space is known as uplink frequency and it will be of the order of 5.9 to 6.4 gigahertz so the uplink frequency from the user will be 5.9 to 6.4 gigahertz Similarly the frequency with which the signal is sent by the transponder is called downlink frequency which will be of 3.7 to 4.2 gigahertz so the downlink frequency from the satellite to the user will be 3.7 to 4.2 gigahertz as you can see here the higher frequency is assigned for uplink to avoid the interference and the lower frequency for the downlink so comparatively uplink will be having more frequency than downlink to avoid the interference of the signal now let us see satellite these satellites we can call this as repeaters in the space satellites are repeaters in the space they receive the rf module carriers from the earth station through a dedicated line from user to earth station now let us see terrestrial system the terrestrial system or terrestrial network is a network on the ground which carries the signal from user to earth station so terrestrial system or terrestrial network carries the signal from user to earth station and also it will receive the signal from satellite through earth station and it will transmit to the user the earth station is responsible for controlling the satellite if it drifts from its own orbit when it is subjected to many kind of drags from the external forces so the main purpose of earth station is to control the satellite if it is drifting away from the orbit now let us understand the types of satellites depending upon the intended mission the satellites are placed in its orbit in various distance from the surface of the earth hence these are classified as low earth orbit which is leo medium earth orbit which is meo and geostationary earth orbit which is geo so these orbits are based on the distance from the earth surface and they cover different applications on the orbit location first let us understand low earth orbits The satellites in low earth orbit circles the earth at the height of 200 to 500 kilometers above the surface of the earth so the satellites on leo orbit will be at a height of 200 to 500 kilometer from the surface of the earth these satellites being closer to the surface of the earth have much shorter orbital periods of about 95 to 120 minutes and smaller signal propagation delay which is of 4.5 millisecond so the signal propagation delay will be less as well as the orbital period will also be shorter compared to other orbits each leo satellite will be visible to the earth for around 10 minutes the application of leo satellite is for remote sensing and mobile communication services so it is used for remote sensing as well as mobile communication services the disadvantages of leo satellites are many satellites require for global coverage like 50 to 200 so many number of leo orbit satellites are required for global coverage for covering entire globe because of large number of satellite complexity of the whole system will be increasing so there will be more number of complexities here short time of visibility required 
additional mechanism for connection handover between different satellites so additional mechanism for connection handover between different satellites are required so this is one of the major disadvantage so it is having short lifetime of about 5 to 8 years because of atmospheric drag so since they are circling around the earth at the lower orbit so the lifetime will be very less so next is medium earth orbit medium earth orbit satellite orbit at a distance of approximately 10000 to 20000 km above the earth surface so this satellite will orbit about 10000 to 20000 km above the surface of the earth they have an orbital period of 6 to 12 hours so the orbital period will be 6 to 12 hours and the propagation delay will be about 70 to 80 milliseconds so the propagation delay in the communication signal will be about 70 to 80 milliseconds these orbits are generally polar in nature and are mainly used for communication and navigation application so the main application of these meo satellites are for communication and navigation applications disadvantage of these satellites are due to large distance to earth delay increase to about 70 to 80 millisecond so the delay in communication of signals will be 70 to 80 millisecond these satellites require higher transmit power and special antenna for small footprints so they require higher transmitting power as well as special antenna for small footprints so these are the disadvantages next is geostationary earth orbit satellite the orbital period of geo satellites will be about 23 hours 56 minutes the orbital period will be equal to earth's rotational period here earth moves from west to east the satellite will synchronize with the earth for the moment this satellite will remain stationary with respect to a given point on the earth since it is synchronizing with the rotation of the earth we can say the satellite will remain stationary with respect to a given point on the earth hence there is no tracking required for the satellite the inclination of satellite is 0 degree so the inclination is 0 degree for the satellite to have such an orbital velocity it need to be at a height of about 36000 km so to be precise it will be about 35786 km above the earth surface the application of geostationary orbit satellites is broadcasting applications like tv point to multi point communication mobile services as well as weather forecasting this is about basic elements of satellite communication system as well as type of satellites hope you have understood the topic thank you